Hi everyone, welcome to Bim Group. In this video, we will see that how we can download free Revit families uh, from different different platforms and we can use those families in our Revit projects. So, uh, uh, I'll discuss in this video about two different different kind of best platforms. Those uh, allows us to give proper families of any Revit element or what we can say different different kind of softwares elements but we'll specifically discuss about Revit elements only right here in this video and how we can use those ones in our Revit project as well we'll discuss in this video so let's start first of all uh, I'll discuss about BIM object BIM object is a best platform as for me for downloading any Revit family freely from this platform and we can use that one in our Revit project so uh, I'll, I'll give you this link in the uh, in the description of this video right now we'll see if I scroll down there are a lot of families are right there but suppose uh, uh, first of all I'll tell you what is right there uh, I already logged in with my account so uh, I guess if somebody has not logged in or has not created in any account on BIM object how he should proceed so I'll sign, sign out right here as of now so you can see it's logged out yeah so if you'll click on this link you'll be uh, come right here in this page okay right now we have we, we can see at the right top corner there are two options login and free sign up so if you did not sign up as of now you are new at this BIM object platform firstly you'll, you'll just click on free sign up this kind of page will be open right now there are different different kind of options that you need to fill like your email id it means you can create uh, sorry this this email id should be your email id okay password you can create right there and those kind of information you can fill right there it's not necessary that you can fill uh, your company name uh, you know established company name you can fill anything but your email id should be your own email id okay and you uh, after filling this information you can uh, verify your email id uh, through your official email id because there will be one link will be shared by bim object platform so you can directly verify that one and then after that you can click on login and uh, it's my account so i'll click on login otherwise you can log in through google your google account or those kind of options as, as well so after logging in uh, you'll be right here okay and as you can see there are a lot of families first of all we'll discuss about those families in this video but first of all i'll show you about uh, different different options that is given by bim object platform right now at the top corner you can see software it means which software you are searching for uh, so as of now i want to search for revit so i'll click on revit project location you can define because it is uh, sometimes it is important or sometimes it is not important uh, that in which country you have established like in India use uh, if I'll talk about WC's water closets so we normally use two different kind of Indian uh, WC as well uh, Western WC's so if I want to search Indian WC maybe if I'll go with the USA uh, country maybe uh, the Indian WC will not be uh, I cannot found and uh, I cannot find in this uh, platform but if I'll go in Indian country and then I can search for the Indian WC, then maybe I can find that one as well. So we need to take care about that one. But if you are not that much sure that in, in which country that particular element is, then you can ignore the country um, selection right there. So that all the elements you can see right there. Okay. So as of now, I'm not selecting the project location, but Revit, yeah, definitely we, we should select it. As I've selected the Revit, you can see right here, all the Revit tags uh, has shown right there. Okay, different different kind of uh, SketchUp, AutoCAD, DXF, uh, all the micro station, all those uh, tags are right there. If you will drop it down a little bit, you can see as I have selected the Revit, all these are checked. Okay, it is defaultly checked. I can uncheck those one as well from right here. Uh, if I'll uncheck this one you'll see the difference right there these all are unchecked now okay so you can change from right there as well or from right there it, it, it depends on you how you are uh, filtering the things 
so if i'll come right here first of all i'll go with sustainability you can uh if you are you know working on carbon footprint kind of things or those kind of things here you can select uh, the co2 emission or those kind of things so that you can select a better uh, product for your design or modeling thing brands officially you can select any brand there are a lot of brands uh, those are available at this platform as you can see this is cooper controls and the uh, frizz hansen the different different kind of uh, companies have published their rabbit families are right there so you can select you can filter out on the basis of uh, their company name or if it does not matter to you then you can ignore that one as well the third one is category sometimes it's very important suppose uh, uh, you you are plumbing guy or sanitary guy something like that then you, you should like you you can check this box so that you can see all the drainage or all the sanitary uh, families only right there because you you do not need the wall families door families or something like that one so you can ignore this one okay you can go with this one as well like if i go for the manufactured and yeah definitely uh, these are the countries that we were searching right there project location uh, so, so these are the countries in which country that particular project or uh, element has manufactured file type we already discussed so these are the uh, features given by bim object that is very good for filtering out uh, different different kind of things right now you can see that we have some ceiling sensor as well right there but it is not related to H, uh, phe but phe is also right there it means the plumbing i'm talking about so far are right there this is interior part kind of thing so uh, we can filter it out on the basis of the category suppose i want to search only sanitary things okay so all these sanitary uh, things will be right there you can see shower uh, the sink the towel heater something like that all these are the uh, drainage or what we can say sanitary uh, fixtures are right there but suppose you want to search water closet uh, without I'll, I'll unselect that one in category i am checking this one you do not know that in which category that particular element is what you can do you can search from right there only i want to search water closet so if i search through water closet there will be all the water closet elements will be shown right there you can see the support as well the wc as well all the things you can see right there and you can uh, like suppose i want to show you one any any family like suppose this one so i'll simply click on the image this kind of page will be open right now you can see 3d click on 3d right here at the left side you can see lod's so till lod 300 you you can find because lod 300 is for detailed design so that is the good option that is given by the object right now i'm zooming zoom out i can i can rotate this particular object as well oh, sorry side you can see you can you can rotate that particular object as well so if you want this kind of family uh, then you can go for it okay so how you can download this one i'll close this option right now okay first of all i'll tell you about these specifications so if you want to check the the specification that you want like the dimension of this particular family and uh, whatever it is related to something like that classification and properties as well so you can check it out from right there classification is very important in terms of BIM, uh, BIM field because you 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 want to see the uni class number and uh, omni class number as well that uh, it's, it's coming in water closet category or something like that thing okay so if you want to download click on download simply right there there are a lot of options that comes to you uh, and which format you want to download this particular family so 3ds max sketchup ifc uh, stl different different kind of autocad revit archicad something like that thing. i want to download this one in revit only so i'll check the, this box and i'll click on download Oh, right now you can see it's downloading 
and it's downloaded now if i'll go in my revit and hide this one so that we can see our family and it will come in revit oh, i'll run it directly so we have downloaded this one as of now let me cross check yeah this one i'll rank this one right here this was in 2015 so you can uh, insert this family in 2015 revit and more than that in uh, later versions than that so we have downloaded but actually fortunately unfortunately or unfortunately whatever we can say that was wall mounted so first of all we should see uh, our model and uh, i'll show one wall only so what i'll do i'll select this one and and select this one okay so that will get one wall right there and i want to do align my wc with it so i need to search with wc actually maybe there are two families of that one or one okay i'll drag it right there you can see we can align the offset we can uh, discuss later but i wanted to show the the exact family of that particular wc now you can see this is our wc it is aligned like that okay you can see the drainage pipe is also right there so we can like uh, the pha guy or drainage guy can connect uh, with that one as well so this is our wc and how we can use this one you can see there are a lot of parameters right there i'm going to click on edit there are i have sorry um, the uh, kobe data should be right there if I, oh kobe for for kobe, yeah you can see right here uni class uniform it as well and rfc classifications as well so all those kind of parameters are all, already right there and it's properly filled in that particular family so that is how we can download from bim object and we can use the families very easily okay so there is one more platform that i want to talk about that is uh, bim smith it's also a good uh, uh, platform there's one more revit city but um, uh, i'm not that much comfortable with revit city because uh, that interface is quite complex so i'll i'll go with the bim objects only and bim smith is also good for me now there are also the same thing there are a lot of families same way you can select any any software they want to search for and you can also type right there like suppose i want to search root drain simply i'll type right there and i enter it all the root and families are right there you can see and suppose i want to download this one but i want to see uh, that this is the correct one that i wanted to download right here you can see the download option but first of all i want to see um the specification you can see uh, how how it will be placed in the family uh, in the Revit project and i'll change it yeah right here you can see the dimensions all those kind of things are right there so you can read those ones and if it is good for you then you can download otherwise you can go with another families as well there, there are a lot of families are right there the root train as well so that is how uh, we can use the different different platforms those gives us uh, the free Revit families for our projects so that's all for this video thanks a lot guys for watching this video let's meet in my next video